Hi everyone, and welcome to The Good Show, second episode, uh, Yale's only late night talk show. Thank you all, six of you, for coming. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. So, we kind of have some bad news for you right now, as we said on the Facebook event. Um, Shelly Kagan, professor, esteemed professor of philosophy, who is supposed to be interviewed tonight, is not going to be here um, because he is too sick. Um, we, no, 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 he's sick. Um, we really hope he gets better, um, but unfortunately he's not going to make it, so we're just going to try to work with what we have. Um, I, actually, sorry, I, I believe in final season magic. Um, and so I really believe that if we all take a moment and close our eyes and hold hands, and we'll say, can we all do that? Thank you. And if, on the count of three, I'm gonna, we're going to close our eyes. I'm going to say one, two, three. We believe, I think Shelly Keegan will walk through that door. Are you guys with me? Okay. <laughs> close your eyes. One, two, three. We believe Shelly Keegan, show yourself! <laughs> I'm still open. Shelly Keegan, show yourself. <laughs> show yourself, Shelly Keegan. The dream is dead. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, last week was Thanksgiving break. I hope you all had a good. Ah, great. <laughs> Where? All right, yeah. Last week, Thanksgiving break, and it's, it's one of my favorite times of year. You know, for me, it's a great opportunity to go home, spend time uh, with my family, and face constant reminders that my parents are dicks. <laughs> Thanksgiving, of course, is, is also a really important time uh, to remember. Excuse me? Um, sorry? Sorry to interrupt. Um, I think I left something in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we're in the middle of a show. Yeah, it's really important that I find this. Can I just like take a quick look around? I, um, sure. What exactly are you looking for? <laughs> yeah, what are you looking for? My sex slave. <laughs> Your what? My sex slave. Oh, is that like a, like a small no, doll? No, it's a small doll. It's completely conceptual. Uh, okay, I don't know this. No, that's not her. Uh, I don't know where that is. I don't know how to leave. No, I don't know how you left it here. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> come here, come here, come on. Come on. Okay, I'm glad. Come on. <laughs> you silly little bitch. <laughs> not a guy, girl. Thanks, guys. Okay. <laughs> Stay safe, guys. Don't go. <laughs> Finding love in the holiday season. <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful. Uh, so last week, as you guys know, was the Harvard Yale game. Let's give it up for the football team. Uh, we lost. So um, we lost. Here's the thing. Um, I think we can all take solace in the fact that though we might be second in sports, we are third in academics. Uh, according to US News and World Report. So we all have that. Right. Students, students were really excited to go to the game. Some even waited for two hours in the freezing cold to get tickets. Some of us waited and then didn't even get tickets because uh, some other dirty, cheating scoundrels cut the line! Uh, dude, Nate was saving one place that actually how lines work. Oh, is it how lines work? You can just save a spot? Yeah, I no, you, get your, you got your PhD in line studies from uh, yeah, Line yeah. University, huh? I waited a line long enough, they gave it to me. That's a uh, great degree. <laughs> Um, so it's getting colder, as I'm sure you've noticed, um, which means that it's a very exciting time of year when we have all of the horrible cold season small talk. Yay, we're excited for that. Um, we're actually not. It's horrible. So in order to make your lives and our lives better, we wanted to get it all done right here, right now. Elias, are you ready? We're going to do it. Ready? One, two, three, go! Oh, it's so cold outside. Yes. Are you excited for break? Yes. <laughs> Finals. Yes, I also have finals. <laughs> Alternatively, you can get rid of the small talk altogether. Try this. Oh man, it's so cold outside. It is? Oh, but my azaleas, they'll freeze in the winter! <laughs> Alright, uh, this upcoming weekend is the freshman holiday dinner. 
So if you're wondering why you're going to be paying off student loans until you're 35, <coughs> don't worry. It's all going to the magic flying platter of sushi. <laughs> or as Ben Polak likes to call it, the thing that's way more important than the Dutch department. <laughs> Uh, so, what I'm about to do right now, it might look like I'm taking some lines out of my pocket because I forgot where we are in the show. It's actually not that I'm looking at porn that I printed out. It's part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, whoa. That's bad. pretty good, right? I'm not, you could have for you know, I'm sorry. Well, I'm just <laughs> Uh, so, now it is, uh, it is final season as we've alluded to, so in true final season spirit, we're going to be taking a few study breaks um, in the, during the next joke, okay? Bear with us. So it's final season, study Bye. break!
awkward part of the show. Um, I actually haven't told Elias this yet. Um, so <coughs> there's a lot of shows happening this week, which means it was really, really hard to find rehearsal and theater space. Uh, so as a result of that, we kind of had to share the theater. What? Um, so you're just going to be quick out and pay attention to us. Like, don't think about the other stuff that's happening. Yeah, let's, we can start the music. No, no, no. Tell them the truth. 
All right, but does this really work? 100% success rate. Okay, well, I have a sweet mate who needs to be set up. All right, describe him. Uh, sure, what, what, what do you mean? Uh, well, like, what does he look like? Uh, okay, he is, um, like, about as tall as me. He has brown eyes, he has brown hair. <laughs> He's, um, he... Urban? <laughs> You have to set him up with a brown date. No exceptions. <laughs> okay, Elias. Is this you? Is your sweet mate looking for a guy or a girl? You know, I, my, my sweet mate, you know, my sweet mate has made love to beautiful women throughout his life. Um, but right now, I'm, my sweet mate is at this point where he's just into this, like, hot guy. Just like this hunk. Um, but does that mean he's gay, you know? Sexuality is a beautiful, fluid thing. And to put a label on it like that, uh, you know, in this absolute sense, it's just kind of crazy, you know? It doesn't make sense to me. And you know what? Why don't we go to the audience now? Uh, is there anyone in the audience who needs help setting up a speed mate? Who's who needs a date? Raise your hand. All right, you. What's your name? Rob. <laughs> All right, Rob. Let's talk about your speed mate. Where's your speed mate from? Born in town, New Jersey. <laughs> Born town, New Jersey. New Jersey men are notoriously hard to match up. So this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. Um, so what does this guy do on campus? Uh, farts. He does a lot of farting. <laughs> Alright, farting. Any activities besides farting? Oh, um, no, that's kind of his main thing. I think mean, he wrote his essay about it. Alright, lots of farting, lots of farting. Now, Rob. When's the last time that this sweet mate had a bowel movement? <laughs> Before the show or during the show? <laughs> like you're saying when the show started or like? Before the show. And then two minutes before the show. Two minutes before the show. Alright, now, to your knowledge, has your sweet mate been to a Turkish bathhouse in the last 12 months? <laughs> Turkish? No. <laughs> Now, how guilty does your sweet mate feel when he eats lobster? Not at all. Not guilty at all. All right. It's going to be tough, but I think I've got the perfect date. I'm thinking a tall brunette, maybe about six feet. Uh, you know, mid-Atlantic region, maybe Philadelphia. Um, you know, I see, I see glasses. You know, yes. Glasses. <laughs> um, into the classics. Probably did DS. <laughs> um, does some comedy on campus. Not that good at it, but sticks with it anyway. Um, you know, had an incident in fourth grade where they peed in the class fish tank. <laughs> Breastfed until they were nine years old. <laughs> Has a Muppets tattoo. Well, Don Steelman, everyone. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Yeah, well, we're on the subject of teaching. Um, your, your class, DEF, has an international following on open Yale courses. How could you possibly feel qualified to teach this course, given that you've never died? <laughs> Uh, being born is sort of like dying, you know. Mm. Yeah, you're more alive before you actually enter the world. Yeah. Plato, isn't it? Yeah, man. Uh, thanks for <laughs> let's, let's move right into some common ethical dilemmas. <laughs> How much is too much when it comes to masturbation? And <laughs>
college students <laughs> um, for a while at least. Uh, this next one uh, is another holiday you don't want to celebrate now. Uh, it's called Armistice Day. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate 420 now. I can see that being 
you know, sort of a, a year-long thing with like just this, really this peak of activity on the actual day. <laughs> it's sort of like the, it's not instead of the 12 days of Christmas, it's like the 365 days of four <laughs> <laughs>
guys are good to go for the night. Get out of here.